I am the fastest woman to ride around the world. 18,000 miles, 124 days. First place, the transcontinental race, a 4,000 kilometer race across Europe. I had the Guinness World Record for the fastest crossing of Europe. Across the US, from Oregon to Virginia, 4,200 miles, 18 days and 10 minutes. I hold the Guinness World Record for the fastest circumnavigation by bicycle. Two and a half months of racing from four in the morning until half past nine at night, every single day. It's that headspace that splits a rider from an endurance rider. The cool thing about endurance is it takes me across continents. It takes me around the planet. I like the fact that every day is different. Endurance cycling is everything for me. It's the time I have to think and breathe and feel. The better you are off the bike, the easier you'll find the riding. It can be finding yourself without food in the middle of nowhere. You don't know where you're going to sleep that night. You are going to be overwhelmingly tired. Your cognitive function definitely slows. There was no support crew. Had to fix things with duct tape and zip ties. Oh, I was just fixing my third puncture. I could tell something wasn't right. My number one aim is getting home safely. All right, bears, don't eat me. Yeah, I've got a security escort with me. We will encounter pain and suffering. Without doubt, the stupidest thing I've ever done. I'm in so much pain right now. You always feel colder than you expect. Your hands go numb. You crossed the Arctic Circle, it then got really, really cold. You can't be pretending it's wonderful. You almost end up seeing the road in front of you like a roller coaster. That is all in your head. It doesn't matter how strong your legs are. If you've given up, you've given up. Ultimately, it's about can you suffer it?